Hello, welcome, and good morning. We're going to talk about one of our favorite times of day. We're your hosts of Time Sweeps. I'm Gary. I'm Wyatt. And I'm Connor. And today we are talking about breakfast and our favorite breakfast meals. All right. So I don't know if this topic is as important to you guys as it is to me, because I take breakfast very seriously, even though some might say di- say differently. But if I don't get my breakfast in the morning, I'm a very grumpy camper. Yeah. Like, I need to have just something. You need your Wheaties? Not even. Like, I just need something in the <laughs> morning to wake Coast me up. Crunch in the morning. Sometimes my breakfast is just a glass of chocolate milk. I just need something. Yeah, just a little, some kind of sustenance. Right. Sustenance. Be, well, I, and I'm not a... Co- I'm not a sustenance. <laughs> oh? What the heck? <laughs> so, but, like, I'm not a coffee person. I'm, I don't really like coffee. So, like, just some sort of beverage or... Food. Something. You could yeah. be, like, an Irish man and drink uh, Jack Daniels in the morning. I could. Just one cup. <laughs> just one whole cup. Mug. One whole bottle. One whole bottle. <laughs> That's kind of like a, when they ask Ron Swanson how many drinks he has in a week, and he goes, one. One shelf. <laughs> one. Shelf. shelf. <laughs> um. So, the first, I want to start off with a question to you guys. Are you more of a salt, a salty or a sweet person when it comes to breakfast? Like, do you want, like, the bacon and eggs and, like, like potatoes? Or do you want, like, pancakes or donuts or, like, something like that? It doesn't really matter to me yeah, as it, long as it's good. It depends on what I feel that morning. Yes. Like, but most of the day, are you mostly something, though? Like, because some days you're like, yeah, I could really go for some bacon and eggs and, like, cash browns right now. I'm, I'm thinking that that's probably, like, what my primary idea is, even though I mostly eat cereal. Right. I mostly Cause... eat, like, a freaking apple or, like, something, like a granola bar. I don't know why. I don't get that healthy. <laughs> well, no, like, I just, I don't eat a lot for breakfast. So I don't know why. I was going to say, some mornings it's hard for me to actually eat something, so I just, like, drink some apple juice or just something. I could go... With breakfast and lunch and no dinner, honestly. That's, yeah. I I, I love that. breakfast. Be, like, it's just the, it's my favorite meal. I should say that, like, what most people call breakfast time is usually, like, when I'm not hungry. You know what I mean? Right. But, like, well, I still me, want breakfast food. To me, breakfast time is I wake up and I go eat breakfast. And then I, well, I wake up and I get dressed and get ready and then I go eat breakfast. Usually, exactly when I wake up, I'm not that hungry. Which is really hard before you have to, like, go to work or school or something like that. Because it's, like, you don't want to be on shift or at school, like, in class for, like, hours or an hour and a half or whatever and be like, now I'm hungry. Right. Because then it's torture. Mm -hmm. Well, so I'm more of a sweet person when it comes to breakfast. Like, pancakes, waffles, and stuff like that. Like, I love, and this is why I'm fat, I love the sweet stuff. Like, just drench in syrup, you know. Get, like, some bacon or some sausage links to the side of that and just dip it in syrup as well. It's just so... I love breakfast food. Like and like I am not the biggest fan of eggs. Like I I was gonna ask you about that. I was curious. I. Really? You're not either? I mean like Like I'll egg- eat eggs if I, they come with my food. Yeah. But I'm never gonna go out and the, order eggs. Egg, eggs have to have flavor for me. Like you have to have some peppers or onions in it. Like omelets. Omelet yeah. Yeah. Like eggs say, have like to have good, flavor for me. I like a good fried egg sometimes. Yeah, well, see, but I love egg on, like, my burger or something like that, you know? Dude, I had that one time, and that was, like, my God. You only had that once? Yeah, because, like, it wasn't that long ago, I guess, in concept either. Because beforehand, I was like, oh, why would I do that? Mm -hmm. That sounds like a lot. And then I was like, and then I tried it. And then you tried it. But, like, I'm not, like, I'm not going to eat eggs unless they come with my food. Or unless someone makes, like, unless someone in your family, like, on a holiday makes eggs with everything then i'll grab some eggs yeah but like i'm not gonna go out of the way to make eggs yeah um i will <laughs> that's like one of my go-to but like boiled eggs. at least it was like during what boiled eggs is that like like hard seriously boiled eggs? like hard boiled eggs you like that yeah like just snacks just eat a hard boiled egg with salt on it so viewers i i I can't describe the face I'm giving. I am, like, mesmerized. I don't think I've ever met anybody, like, our age that's, like, into that. 
I mean, I like it. Yeah. yeah. I'm not. I mean, I'm not gonna get like the pack. Connor, are you about so. to agree with hard boiled eggs? I don't like hard boiled eggs. Okay, I thought you both. Were you about don't to like hard boiled like eggs? No. Why? I don't I like. Don't I don't like, like hard boiled eggs. I don't like deviled yeah, eggs. Yeah, deviled eggs. I don't like deviled eggs. Yeah. Because that has mayonnaise in it. Ugh. Yeah, mayonnaise. Disgusting. But like, but like, have you ever had like a soft boiled egg? No. With like your toast in the morning. God, man. Like cut it in half. It's all gooey on the inside, but the whole outside's cooked. That's what makes it sound so much worse. <laughs> what? Do you like a sunny side up egg? No. You like so you like the only way how how do you make your eggs? Normally I fry up an egg like in a small pan and then I fry ham with it and put do it, make you a like sandwich. make scrambled eggs or is it scrambled fried, fried egg? Fried. It's just like just a straight up fried yeah. egg, mix the okay. yolk together with the rest okay. of it. Okay, so you don't like any runniness? No. But on your burger you do. Not necessarily did you have a I had oh. a fried egg on a burger. No, runny egg on your burger. Buddy. God that does not sound right. It sounds so. It adds runny juices. egg does not runny egg. You gotta love. It. So like I used to be on your page, like on your like on the same page. We it, used to be it on sounds the same like page. a gusher of just not okay. But like, <laughs> get this. When I started to get older, and I was like, you know, some runny egg with some toast right now would sound good. Or like, if you have you ever seen those videos? It sounds extremely videos. British. The the breakfast where people would cut a circle in the middle of their toast and yeah. crack an egg in it. I actually do have a few friends that are extremely into that. Like, like and then you that have that little circle of toast just as like a side to dip and stuff. That's actually in runny egg. Oh, it's so good, you know. But like, I don't know. It's I love I, I love some runny eggs, man. I like a good fried egg. I like to take those toaster waffles. Yeah. Buy a box of those and then I'll use it to like make sandwiches out of it. Breakfast sandwiches. So get the fried egg because it's the right size to fit on top of it. Uh huh. Fry some ham, put that with it. Slice the cheese. The cheese melts onto the egg and the ham, and you got those waffles nice and toasted. That's a breakfast sandwich right there. So, so one of my favorite breakfast meals is uh, chicken and waffles. Chicken and waffles is like that's like the best. top tier, right? So like I got chi- a story for you in a second about that. They, they somewhere makes the sandwich that's waffles for buns and some chicken, in the middle, and for like a breakfast sandwich. And it's so good. It's great. And then McDonald's just came out. It's been like a few months now, but like they have their McChicken McGriddle, which is freaking awesome, man. Yeah. <clears throat> um, but what what's your story? Chicken and waffles, right? Yeah. When you when you buy chicken and waffles, yeah. you're expecting sweet waffles yeah. and savory chicken. Right. Yeah. So I went to this restaurant downtown and I like everything else on their menu. So I was finally like, I'm gonna try out their chicken and waffles. Worst decision I made at that place. Really? Because their waffles had green onions and stuff in it. It was a savory waffle. Mm-hmm. And the chicken was sweet? God, no. I would <laughs> I would have been so upset if the chicken was sweet. And they just bring That's out weird. Chinese sweet chicken? But yeah, it was normal chicken, normal fried well, chicken. So when you have your chicken and waffles, not this chicken and waffles, your ideal chicken and yeah, waffles. Yeah, correct chicken and waffles. Do you put <laughs> syrup only on the waffles or do you put syrup all over everything? That depends on how I'm feeling. Cause like every time I've I never chicken... had chicken and waffles. <gasps> what? Well, Connor, it's literally that, one of the best breakfast foods. What are you doing next Friday? Uh, I have I, I have uh, school. Well, I think that sounds like I need to go take you get some chicken and waffles. <laughs> like right after school. Yeah. What um, time do you get out, class? Uh, twelve on Fridays. We'll figure it out. Okay. <laughs> But, like, I put syrup all over chicken and waffles. I want the more syrup, the better with chicken and waffles, you know? Like, because I've always been that person to, like, dip their sausage link or their bacon into their syrup that's on the, the plate, the like, the leftover syrup. Yeah. Like, that's good. And people who say it's gross, they've never done it, you know? The, the, the people who say it's gross are the people who don't like their foods to touch on their plate. I'd, I'd agree with that for the most part. Right. There is some people, though, I know that, like, they're peculiar specifically about maple syrup. I wonder why. Like maple syrup is so good. Like I will say, I've had very, I've had some things. You're not gonna catch that, like, me though. Maple syrup that's like, eh, it doesn't go on that. Like an egg, you know, maple syrup and right. egg does yeah. not, not okay. But like you're never, you're not gonna catch me drinking maple syrup, you know, because that's gross. That would no. depend on the maple syrup. <laughs> it had to be really runny maple syrup, and it would have to taste pretty good. It, it, I can't like drinking thick maple syrup is like drinking cough syrup, and I hate that. <laughs> um. <laughs> So, okay, this is kind of a good segue from what we were talking about. What's your ideal breakfast? So I want you to name your ideal breakfast for when you're at home, which I think you've already done with your sandwich. Oh, thing. no, I have one that's ideal. That's, okay. That's like a go-to. All right. Like when I have the time. So I need your ideal home breakfast, and I need your like your ideal like staple out-to-eat breakfast food. Like what? Like something that if you go to this restaurant, you're gonna, you know you're already going to order it. And then I need like your 
ideal home breakfast. So, why start off? You wanted me to start it off? Yes. All right. At home, normally in the morning, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's an ideal, but I just kind of go with the flow. Right. Like, if I have the time, I like to, to prepare a little bit more, like I was saying earlier. Mm-hmm. But n- on a normal day, I kind of just have cereal. Right. But I do have a peculiar cereal that, like, I wish I could buy it year-round. Okay. But you can only get it at this time of year anymore, and it's Count Chocula. Really? It's, like, my favorite. And the formula, I don't know what they did. They've changed it. It doesn't taste like it did when I was, like, you know. Do you just have a bias because of Count Chocula and how much you oh, love I'm the Oh, I'm sure. I am sure. <laughs> but it's also, like, something about it. It has a flavor that, like, it's actually, it's this year like, tastes different than last year. It tastes more like how it used to. Okay. I could go for a long time about the flavor of Count Chocula and how the rest of the flavors, like. So it's kind of, like, nostalgic for you. Yeah. But, like, if I could, that would be, like, my go-to all the time. I think my nostalgic cereal is uh, Captain Crunch. And I think my sister, could, my older sister could agree with this because pa- my papa, that's all he had on deck. And if we got dropped on there, off there in the morning, Cam Crunch, you know. But so. Ideal going out to eat breakfast. Going out to eat? Mm-hmm. Depending on the place, I like to get some nice, rich, fluffy waffles. But okay. I remember on a London trip, or the Lon- the only trip I've taken to London. <laughs> uh, the London trip, the yeah. band trip. Yeah, the band trip from when we were in high school. Uh, my favorite thing I ever had was a British breakfast. So like beans, like, like baked beans and like... I was about to get to that. Okay. It wasn't like a true... British breakfast. It was like a buffet of like stuff you could get. Okay. And they had this specific. It was like thick cut bacon. It not Canadian bacon. It's like a parma or like a ham type thing almost. Yeah, and it was so wonderful. And they had these. It, you know what it probably was cinnamon rolls that were awesome. It was probably like pig belly. Like it's like the, Dude, there's like if a, it was there's like a the bacon section and then like right next to it's like a like. I think it was the same as the bacon section, but as we know bacon mostly is Canadian bacon, which is that thin cut as we know it. Right. Well, like, to me, Canadian bacon is basically ham. Because, like, if you get Canadian bacon on a pizza, it's just ham. Yeah. <laughs> um, Connor, what about you? Ideal home uh, and ideal going out to eat. Ah, uh, shit. Um, I don't know. What's uh, I mean, like, <laughs> growing up, I ate a lot of Eggo waffles. Okay. But like those are good. That's yeah, they're, they're good. They're good and they're good and simple. Just pop them in the toaster. You're good for the morning. Yeah, but as far as like now, I mean, if I had time, are you a person that prefers getting the, like the extra 15 minutes of sleep over breakfast? Kind of. Yeah. Like now, na- now, but like if it's like someone like making breakfast for me, mm-hmm. I mean biscuits and biscuits and gravy or like. Um, I got SOS. A touch on the bi- biscuits and gravy. <laughs> we'll get there biscuits either. and Aww. biscuits and gravy or SOS, if you know what that is. Please elaborate for me. Okay, so you know, like, can, like slices. It's like it's actually kind of like a. I think it's ham, but it's like thin cut ham, like Canadian bacon. Okay. In like a gravy type deal, it replaces the uh, ground stuff. Ground beef. Ground beef, yeah. And SOS stands for shit on a shingle. Ah, okay. Yeah. okay. yeah. Do you know what I'm talking about now? Yeah. yeah. I just didn't want to. Honest wanna... to God, that made it so much clearer for some <laughs> yeah, reason. Yeah, like SOS, I was like, are you trying to like flag down a plane with your breakfast? Or no. <laughs> if if we're going camping, though, camping. My, growing up, my grandma, my grandma Sue, always, grandma Sue and uh, all of her friends we used to go camping with. Always made shipwreck. Oh my god, shipwreck and doughboys camping. Which, what's that? I don't know, <laughs> but it's oh my so god, that reminded me of something I forgot. I'll talk about freaking it. Freaking good. I had to not say the f word. Oh my god, I love that. It's All right, so now hold on, good. hold on. Okay, now yeah. we're going out to eat. What's your go-to? Going out to eat. Oh, um. I mean, if we're going to like Corner Cafe, mm-hmm. uh, I would. Man. I usually get like a, a waffle or, I mean, pancakes. Okay. Or and hash browns. Always gotta get hash browns. I I have bacon a lot, but like I usually get like the sausage. Okay. Yeah. Stab me with a fork. That sounds amazing. Right <laughs> now. We, for context, we just actually ate some food, and I'm already like ready to have some breakfast. breakfast. <laughs> we just drive to. Oh wait, there is a Corner Cafe in Liberty. 
I think maybe I don't know. There is one. I think they're closed. I think they only do breakfast and lunch. Maybe. <sighs> no, they no, go. They do, they they do, do dinner, dinner, but I'm not sure what time they actually close. Uh, well, but, we're gonna have to. So, so my ideal know. breakfast for at home is um, probably like cereal is probably like probably the best thing or egg and waffles, like Connor said, or I'm on this muffin kick right now. I'm like just like from Hy-Vee Bakery. Like there'll be like the cin- the cinnamon or apple muffins or whatever. I'm gonna come back to that in a minute. Like and it's gonna be a fun time for you. It's not my favorite thing, but it's just because they're good and it's em- easy and I don't have to cook. So I'm if for anyone who's ever stayed the night with me or l- has lived with me, um, knows how much of a zombie I am in the morning. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. the less I have to do in the morning, the better. So. The the best breakfast for me at home, honestly, is anything I could grab and walk away with. So that's why these muffins are like clutch because I don't have to do anything. Yeah, like I remember like staying with you when your uh, parents were out of town. Yeah, when you were times. like house sitting like, with I've, me. Like I've like there were points where like you wouldn't get up until like noon, and I'd get up at like nine, and I'd just be chilling with Zion. I just. I mean, like, I, I hate – so, like, and that's another thing. I hate sleeping in till noon because, one, I feel like a bum. And, yeah. two, half your day's gone by that point. So yeah, it's that's ba- most of the now, day gone. Now it's a rare occurrence if I sleep till noon because, yeah. like, I'm like, I want – because now I work full-time, right? So I don't really get that chance anymore. Yeah. And so if I get to stay home a day or on the weekends, like, there might be one day where I sleep late, but I want most of my day to just do whatever I want, you know? Yeah. Because – you don't get to do that during the week as much. And then going out to eat, pancakes or waffles or something with sweetness. I just, I love like that kind of like just that carbs in the morning. I don't know why. It's bad for you. Oh, yeah. But I, it's I'm fat for it and I love, I love it. You know, I just, I can't get away from that. Or depending on the place, chicken and waffles all day long. Like if I see chicken and waffles on the menu, I'll probably order it. That is sin before the Lord is gluttony. <laughs> <laughs> So back to biscuits and gravy because you kind of you kind of lit on. up on Connor when Connor I, said I that. I have a super quick thing that you guys w- you probably won't know what I'm talking about. You might if you remember because I accidentally mistook something for it. Oh, in the mornings, one of my favorite things is my dad has made it sometimes, and he says that his grandma used to make it sometimes, or I think my grandma used to make yeah. it also. Monkey bread. Yes. Ooh, I know how much you bread. love monkey bread. Oh, my God. I love monkey bread, dude. That's more of like a dessert, to, though. But if you have it but in the morning, it's, it's kind of like cinnamon rolls. It's like rolls. the best yeah. breakfast ever. Right. Yeah. With, like, some icing all over the top oh, of it. Oh, yeah. Like, it's basically a cinnamon roll, it's if you think about it. Best thing ever. Yeah. Right. Right there in the mornings, wake up. And this is also making me realize I might be a morning person, and now I'm scared. <laughs> I'm not. I used to be. I'm not anymore. I'm, like, starting to go I into, think... like, old man farmer style. Like, <laughs> early to bed, early to rest. <laughs> well, I think, so, like, most children, you know, like, you remember when you were a kid, and you were, like, like you would, like, would be able to turn the TV on by yourself, and you're, like, fuck it. I don't need my parents. I can turn the TV on by myself, you know? And you're, like, it's, like, 6 o'clock in the morning, so, like, nothing's on TV. So you're, like, well... Do I bother my parents or do I <laughs> to make me breakfast or do I just sit quietly in my room for the next two hours? Yeah, my before my they parents wake up? like when I was younger, my parents literally taught me how to use the toaster, so <laughs> I would not bother them anymore. I I, I <laughs> I'd figure out something to do. I just put on like cartoons or something. Like I'd take. Well, that's I'd where get, that's where I found my love of Tom I'd and Jerry. Get the Batman DVDs. I'd go find the Looney Tunes DVDs or the Tom and Jerry DVDs, and that's like. This is the morning now. The, those early mornings where no one else was up, and like when we were little, that's where I found my love of Tom and Jerry and like Max and Ruby and stuff. I like, I don't know why I liked Max and Ruby. I liked Max and Ruby like until we were like older, you know, like it because it was the only thing on in the morning. So I'd be like, oh, Max and Ruby's on. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> if how, I saw, how old were you when on you stopped? Probably back? like fifth grade. <laughs> but like <laughs> honest, honest to God, if I, we if I saw cable. And I like watch TV in the mornings with breakfast. Still, I'd probably throw on Max and Ruby. I'm not gonna lie with you. Do they still show Max and Ruby? Pro- reruns. One, one way to find out. <laughs> reruns probably. I know at 5:30 in the morning they used to show the Transformers cartoon on Cartoon Network. Oh, not the original, uh-huh. but the one that was contemporary with the first movie, right. live action. Movie. I know what you're talking. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Oh, the, Literally called the, the animated series. Oh, like the one that Man of Action made. Was that Man of Action? I believe it was Man of Action. And then everybody hates Chris was always on in the mornings too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
Um, so back to biscuits, biscuits and gravy. So I have this under a controversial breakfast opinion for me because I don't like biscuits and gravy. And I know a lot of people might consider sinner. that un-American. Sinner. Or, or I you sin. sinner. But like I, I don't. <laughs> I sin. I just don't like biscuits and uh, I, no, I just don't like gravy. Like I've never been big on gravy, you know. Like I'm kind of chilling on brown gravy though. Like with brisket, like I'm kind of chilling mm. on that. But like white gravy, I just can't get around it. And like Luke, my coworker, calls me a fake fat person for that. I'm like, how am I a fake fat person? Because I am a. Fat There's person. a lot of ways to be a fat person. <laughs> right. But like I don't know. I, I'm not. Fat, I'm just big boned. Honest to God, in my case, that might be the case, man. <laughs> my rib cage could fit over you. <laughs> Anyway. But biscuits and gravy. Yes, I know you guys like it. It's one of my favorite things. Like, whenever I go to see family in West Virginia, I should show. I should send this episode out there for, like, get their attention with it. Because my Aunt Jean, great Aunt Jean, because it's my mamaw's sister, she makes the best biscuits and gravy I have ever had. There is nobody I know that can make better biscuits and gravy. I don't know what she does, but it is the best thing on this planet. I think uh, my brother-in-law is going to want, after he listens to this, he's going to want to make you biscuits and gravy just to see if he can beat your... your. I don't know if he aunt. can. Right. Hell, hell, Jordan, whenever you come on to the <laughs> I, show, if I'm you want to bring some... Uh, if no. you want to bring some biscuits and gravy, yeah, be dude, my, Bring some biscuits and gravy. Be my <laughs> guest, sir. <laughs> Wyatt's saying that you might not be able to beat him, but he's not going to deny biscuits and gravy. No, you ain't beating me. <laughs> You're beating my great aunt, Jean. Right. But I don't think a human soul can do that. <laughs> But every family has her homemade biscuits are like the touch of God, (laughs) just so so fluffy and yet so dense. (laughs) Homemade biscuits, dude, best kind of biscuits. I was about to make a joke that I'm not gonna make. Woo! Don't. (laughs) I could think of a list of where you could go with that. No, I'm not going to. All right. So moving on from biscuits and gravy, I know we touched on it for a very short amount of time, but I want you to put this. Just like how much time it takes me to eat biscuits and gravy. <laughs> In order from favorite to least favorite, I want your pancakes, French toast, and waffles. Oh. And y- that is my order, by the way. The way I listed that, that's my order. So you guys go. Wait, what, what? Pancakes, French toast, <laughs> and waffles. From where? List in, them in I order in from general. favorite in general. Favorite to oh. least favorite. Just in general. Uh, if you, if you favorite. need a second to think, I think I know my answer. Yeah, I'll I go from least favorite to favorite. Oh, least favorite to favorite? Yeah. Just swap so your I, list over. So you okay, just yeah. say your favorite last. So I think French toast is like my bottom. Okay. Because it's just like, it's still good. Right. Well, and see, keep in mind, I love all three of these. Right. But, but like, it's just like when right, it comes it, down to your heart. Exactly. Like pancakes are in the middle. I love a good pancake, and I'll order pancakes from a place. May not be my first thing I prefer to make them. Or have them made. <laughs> That's a different topic. I mean, they are made for you when you go out to eat. Yeah, but I mean by, <laughs> like... By at home. Hey, parental <laughs> figure. Right. But waffles. Waffles are probably my all-time favorite. Okay. Because there's also some waffles I've had, like I mentioned, the green onion ones that are deceptive. <laughs> okay. Uh, like, waffles are an art. If you don't get it just right, it's a screw-up. If you so, get it yeah. perfect... Well, like, so is a pancake, though. Yeah. Right. But, like, pancakes and waffles are real close, you know? It's right. Like, I, I saw a meme. I'm sure everyone's seen this meme. Like, a waffle's just pancakes with abs, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I consider them two different things. Yeah. They're, the way you cook them and the way you prepare them are different. But exactly. they're still they basically have the same ingredients. Right. It's like me and a gorilla. <laughs> it's like you and a gorilla. <laughs> 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 but, like, so, like, the reason waffles are on the bottom for me is just because, like, I don't like, the, like, I don't, I love waffles, don't get me wrong, but, like, the crunch versus, like, the soft, like, powdery, like, smooth of the pancake and the French toast, Yeah, you know, just doesn't beat that for me. I don't know why. I just, I love pancakes. Pancakes will always be my number one, you know? God, that description. <laughs> right? <laughs> why are you doing this to me? Picking pancakes, making pancakes. Because it's good. It's, it's, it's hard for everyone. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> The moistness Some nice of the syrup. French toast. So, it French toast with a little bit of syrup French and powdered toast, sugar right, right now. Like French toast done right is my number one. But it's just it's hit or miss everywhere you go. You yeah. Know? So that's why it's my number two. I'd say Cracker Barrel uh, French toast is mm. god tier. Yeah. 
Cracker Barrel French Toast. What's your three? Uh, You've had all this time to I think know, about it. No, <laughs> but it, there's still all of them are like like it's like you said a lot of places are hit or miss. Right. Like it's hard to figure out like what's good and what's not. Um, right. I'm basing this off Corner Cafe. Okay. Which if you don't know, that's a good staple. Like place. yeah, for for, for us for, in this for, area. For yeah, go if you're ever in the Kansas City North area, go to Riverside, and go to Corner Cafe. You will you will enjoy yourself. Um, so, in terms of Corner Cafe, um, French Toast is probably my least favorite because it's not the one I've had the most. Okay. I, I've, um, Waffles are second just because, like, I mean, they're good. I, they're not my favorite there, though. My favorite would probably be pancakes because mm-hmm. I had. They make some good pancakes. I yeah, the the happy face ca- pancake was my go-to for a long uh-huh. time. Next week, let's go to Corner Cafe before we record. Let's do the Dude. let's do the episode from Corner Cafe. <laughs> get us first sponsor. <laughs> we could sweet talk. Them. First sponsor. Let's <laughs> go. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll put a. We'll be right back. Corner Cafe. Corner Cafe. If you want a time sweep sponsor, a minor pod, a very, very, a very minor, minor podcast. podcast. Um, Hit us up, please. So, okay, this is a good one to like uh, build off of what we've been talking about. Ideal breakfast beverage. Ooh, Ooh. Ooh. right, that's, right. That's <laughs> very open. Actually. I have a very and you convoluted can't, answer you for that. You can't just say juice. You have to be specific if it's yes. juice. Oh, no, I can get specific on juice. Okay, okay, okay. You want me to go through it first? Yeah, what's your Because I, I know it by heart. I know mine cause because I drink it every morning. Most places I go, like if it's Big Biscuit or something like that, right. my go-to is normally a Coke. If okay. I can get a Coke, a nice crisp Coca-Cola in the morning is something that's just like, dude, my fat butt can't resist it. Right. If I can't get a Coca-Cola, I'm not going to lie, I like some chocolate milk. Mm-hmm. Chocolate milk, my greatest sin. You're not gonna find me <laughs> like that far away from chocolate milk. That and building like all the calcium cu- in my bones is probably why I can get hit by a car and feel nothing. <laughs> building off of that, my favorite beverage for breakfast in the morning is chocolate milk. In my opinion, there is no beating chocolate milk <laughs> when it comes to breakfast food. Like even when I go out, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna want chocolate milk with my dinner, with my dinner, my breakfast. And don't bring it out until my food's out here, or it'll be gone. Because chocolate milk's right. not free. Refills. You're just gonna drink it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. It's gonna be gone. Wait, chocolate, chocolate milk's not free. Refills? No, not like all most, the special most places. Like at least the breakfast places I go to, like the specialty drinks. As in specialty drinks, I mean like milk and juice, like apple juice, and like and then like orange juice is like never free refills. Now, apple juice, that's one of my other go-tos. That, like, that's probably my go-to juice. I'd, I'd rather like if have... if I'm at a hotel, I'm going to go to, like, grape, or not grape. Grape apple. juice is for home. <laughs> You're going to go to prune juice. <laughs> not prunes, but, like, grape juice, though. I'd take a... Ab- I would want apple juice over orange juice. Orange juice is overhyped. I love orange juice. I love orange juice. But, like, I love apple juice, man. It's so good. A- apple juice. What's your ideal breakfast beverage? Uh, Sorry to do this, Connor. I know you don't like being put on the spot. But. No, well, like it's not being put on the spot. I've literally. Had, you're right. Like, you're not on the two, spot. You're at gunpoint. Two damn minutes. Answer the question. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. FBI, open up. Um, there's this. Uh, I think Mott's makes it, or Minute Maid makes it. I can't remember. I think it's Mott's, but orange peach mango juice is like an amalgamation. Okay. That 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 that. I is, think it's Minute Maid. Yeah, Minute Maid. Yep. Okay. They. Mm. Awesome. Um, if I can't have that, then chocolate milk, good. See, like, cho- I, just the fact that chocolate milk's all on all three of ours yeah. somewhere is just, well, it's telling you how good chocolate milk is. It's a staple. Um, right. Dude, have you ever, <laughs> this is a Men in Black 3 reference, but that crap, it'll keep your brain working in, a time, in the events <laughs> of time travel and a brain parasite. I'm just saying. Yeah. I mean, and then other than that, I mean, juice other than, like, Minute Maid stuff. It's a hard tie between apple and orange. You think? Yeah. I I I love them both. So do you like orange juice? And I'm asking this to both of you, not just Connor, but like 
Do you like orange juice with the pulp, or do you not? You want it no pulp? At least, at least pulp is better, or do you like the pulp? I don't know. I don't I've go had to both. orange juice. It's I've just had both, not and I don't really give a shit. We'll see, like, because, like, with my thing, when I was younger, like, get that pulp out of there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I don't want chunkies in my orange juice. I'd probably, depends on the brand. But, like, my thing is, like, bring that high pulp stuff over here, man. Like, it's pretty good. Because I know, like, when it comes to lemonade, which is, that's a specific thing <gasps> lemonade. for certain Lim- breakfasts. Lemonade is great. <laughs> lemonade is great. Is but, great. like, a lemonade nice pulpy great. lemonade. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But yeah. orange juice, that's, I'm not that I'm, big I'm with on you there it. On that. But not Sunny D. Sunny D is disgusting. You don't like Sunny D? You don't like Sunny D? Dude, Dude I forgot about Sunny it, like, yeah, That's probably, like, honestly, top five breakfast beverages for it me. It burns my throat like it's some kind of weird medicine. Michael, like, it reminds me of cough syrup. Michael will buy... Uh, little th- those little things of Sunny D for the girls for their for their whatever they want, you know, for their breakfast or whatever. And you drink them like straw. And I freaking, just I'll grab shug like them down. I'll, and like I'll grab two of those when I leave for work in the morning. I'll just and then I'll drink them both on my way to work. And I I work like five minutes away from my dad's house, so like they're gone. I haven't had Sunny D in so oh, I long. I love Sunny D, man. A God. weird orange juice that's like you can't. I can't. It's like. It's hard to describe the flavor and the way it feels in your mouth because it's <laughs> it's basically like Kool-Aid. There's a lot of weird jokes in this week's episode. But, like, <laughs> Tang. Sunny D? No, Tang. Tang. Oh, Tang? Uh, I've tang. never heard of this. Oh, Tang Dude, is good. Dude, that stuff tang is like, tang I don't is know. Good. It's it's so weird. It's like. I like Tang. Yeah. It's like, I don't want to say that I dislike it, but it's also not at the top of my list. But if somebody was like, hey, we got Tang, I'd be like, I might have to get Tang. That crap is I've like... I've never had Tang. Or I like probably haven't just... Astronaut the orange label. juice is basically how it was developed. Hmm. Yeah, it's like powdered orange juice, but it's not orange. It doesn't taste like orange juice. It tastes kind of like... I, I have you ever the, had... Would you find this in like have you ever MRE? had like? Have you ever like had orange Kool-Aid? Maybe. Have you ever had orange Kool-Aid? Yes. Kind of like that. It's like a higher grade version of that. Yes. Okay, okay. I remember the exact place I was when I first had it too. It's like the pow- it's like the powder so lemonade. It's a powdered stuff. Yeah, it's yeah, powdered. Okay. That it's you put easy in water. that you make it for like mass amounts. Okay. That's normally where I've seen it. Like the first time I had it, I think it was I don't remember which birthday it was. I think I turned twelve. Oh. And I was at Union Station and they had like this pirate exhibit that was like a bunch of artifacts and it was really cool that they got like a pirate ship that actually had treasure on it. Yeah. I don't remember the captain's name, but they were actually able to recover a lot of it. Okay. But that day, they did a thing that was, like, pancakes with pirates. Mm-hmm. So it had this really cool conveyor belt thing that you, you can buy those for, like, $900. And it's, like, just craps out pancakes. Oh. And it's really cool. All you really have to do is flip them. But in the drink was, like, speaking tang of ta- or speaking water. Of tang, I'm ordering tang on Amazon now. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> We'll drink it while we do this the pumpkin card. twenty two dollars for a for a seventy two ounce. Yep. Jesus. Tang. So I want to ask you guys your opinion on one thing that I'm writing down as we as I speak right now. What's your opinion on like breakfast pizza? I've oh. I've eaten regular pizza for breakfast, so yeah. No I have done breakfast. That. Oh, everyone's done that. Yeah, like without even heating it up, just grab it from the fridge. I was gonna say and that's just grab a cold slice of pizza. That's like breakfast. Like, that's a good breakfast right there. You know, like I'll leftover... have a question for you about that kind of stuff here in a second. Like, actually, leftover pepperoni pizza that's just left in the fridge. You just eat it's it. It's just breakfast. Yep, done. Yeah, I can but, buy this but, at Walmart. But breakfast pizza, like with egg and gravy and all that crap. Uh, I've I never had say, it. You, you want to get some on the way home? You've never had that. Not really. I... It depends on the breakfast pizza itself. I've had some that's like awful, and I've had some that's like absolutely what? great. There's uh, some that are like need to too have me runny. On a breakfast escapade. One day we need. We just need to. We're gonna go around town. Around town rating breakfasts. All I'm saying is that like breakfast. I'll call off work one Whoa. day. Just Did give you guys me the just day. Lose sound. I didn't. I didn't. Did I lose power in these? Yeah, I lost. I lost power in my headphones. Are we good? Or do you need to get some? I need to go get some new ones. Okay. I'll take a brief intermission, folks, while So we'll be right back. <laughs> we got some good sound bites that you can use for, like, the intermission sound. Oh. Yeah. Sasquonk. 
You should have done a segment called While Gary's Away. <gasps> well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. What was uh, the last thing that you said? I don't know. We're Breakfast pizza. I sound really muted. To we me. were talking Crusty about breakfast crab, pizza, pizza, and I said the last thing that I said was pizza. is that sometimes it can be really runny, and it really ruins a breakfast pizza to me. Okay. And I did have a question for you guys if we just want to cut where we were and go into that. Sure. Okay. You want to do that? I mean, I'm just continuing like this. I want to keep this all in the podcast. Okay. We'll go from there then. All right. So I had a question for you. Like, we mentioned cold pizza for breakfast. Right. What have you eaten for breakfast that's not really a considered a breakfast food? I've eaten, like I've had, I have a list of things I've that I've been like. Panda this is what I've eaten Panda Express on more than one occasion. For well, you breakfast. know, when you're a kid and it's Halloween, and you didn't really get much chance when you got home to eat all your candy. There was many Halloween events where I ate candy for breakfast, or like on your birthday, cake for breakfast. Have you ever done that? Yeah. Normally birthday it was it was like I'm probably having pancakes for breakfast. That's been my go to birthday thing. Well it's yeah. It's usually the the day after your birthday you have cake for breakfast. Okay, you have left that yeah, cake. definitely. Yeah. Um when we when I'd have cake. Normally I like doing like one of those large <laughs> cookie things. Yeah. You like cookie cakes? Yeah. Cookie cake, yeah. You can you can ask for evidence. Everybody in my family Yep, giant cookies. <laughs> <laughs> giant cookies. Yeah, so like I'm i I'm a Santa. Whenever I've gotten like Chinese food and I don't eat all of it. But that that's just my breakfast the next morning. It's okay. weird, but like no, it's not. I I've eaten. Do you ch- heat it up though, or do you have it cold? Who the hell has their Chinese food cold? Sometimes you never had like cold lo mein. That no, that sounds like it. Ew, that skeeves me out thinking about it. It like Ugh. I can feel like <laughs> this, the tingliness up the back of my neck. It's like you never had like Ooh. a cold crab rangoon. That I I've done that. Uh, I don't like crab rangoon. What really? I dislike. It's crab like my rangoon. favorite. We're gonna thing about Chinese. We're food. gonna come back to that one. I have. I, I like egg rolls. Egg rolls are good. Oh, Spring so rolls, like when they're like, wontons, what do you want for your side? You're God. like egg roll. Egg rolls, yeah. Yeah. God. Actually, I'd usually prefer an egg roll to a crab anymore. rangoon, but I do like crab rangoon. I didn't used to though. All right, so this is a, that was a really good segment. Hold for, on, I have segue. one thing to say. Okay, breakfast lasagna. Oh, I've like had just straight up regular yeah, lasagna with like for eggs breakfast and before. stuff in it. No, 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 no. I mean oh. a regular lasagna. Oh, I thought Something you meant like Garfield. a quiche or something. I am a Garfield, thank you. I am a large orange cat. <laughs> if you have never seen my face, he is a large orange. He cat. He goes meow. I'm a large. But Mondays. This is the perfect segue to what I have written down: breakfast for dinner. Is a, I wrote a great. question mark down next to it. Like I don't know how many times I've had breakfast for dinner. That's normally when I have chicken and waffles. Yeah, that's it's a probably it's a good like breakfast for dinner it's thing. The perfect like, intersection. Like, like after the jazz events when we go like get oh, breakfast food. Well, you guys would do that. I was never around. Why? Because nobody wanted me there. Or you just didn't pay attention. Nobody would talk to me about it. That's a very depressing. That's, you just thing. sounded it made me sound like an ass. Nobody talked <laughs> like, to me about it. Nobody ever was like, hey, why do you want to go? I was like, no, I'm going to go home. I Nobody ever known. talked to me about it. No. It was normally was like a thing that like the popular band kids after a jazz event. I'm not a popular do. band you kid. You're more popular. Than I- we're, we're not touching on that right now. <laughs> Leave this in. I'm not a popular band kid. I wasn't there because Let's nobody asked if I was going. all the kids that we went to school with I didn't want to feel <laughs> alienated when I was there because nobody wanted me there. It's not that we didn't want you there. It totally is. No, it's, I wanted you there. Then why didn't you say anything? I thought it was known. No, but that, that was, was a thing. question. It was always like the people that were like liked. <laughs> Who was I liked by? Oh, whatever. We're the talking band. about breakfast food. <laughs> we're talking about breakfast food. Uh, that was a very depressing segue. <laughs> yeah. I think I feel. <laughs> I feel depressed now. Way to ruin the mood. I made up for it with my own cult. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that, that's just th- that's a topic for another day. <laughs> that might be next. Back week. for back to oh, that'd be a for great dinner. topic. For next breakfast week. for dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Human flesh. <laughs> what? <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> what? This whole, well, like, this whole episode's just gone. Uh, through, gone. To this shit has gone now. down the drain. Um. Like you know what a good breakfast for dinner food is? Steak and eggs. Yeah. Have you ever had steak and eggs? I'd agree with that. Mm, I, I haven't had the combo, no. But like, Wyatt, steak with gooey eggs, man. It's so good. I like it. With some toast? I like to take the steak 
slice it like a Philly. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? That nice thin style. Yep. Put that in an omelet. Mm-hmm. And it's like a nice, rich, steaky omelet. I'd rather just have like a medium rare steak or a rare steak in front of me and just have that with some eggs, you know? That's another thing that like in the past like couple years, like I used to get my steak medium well, which ugh, now thinking back on it, it's a hamburger to me. But now I get I'm like if someone's cooking it for me, I'll ask for it rare. But if I go, I, there's only one place, like there's only like a few places you trust to get a rare steak. Like when you go out to eat and it's usually a fancier restaurant. Yeah. But like other than that, yeah. I'll get like a med- medium rare steak. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm never getting it rare. I don't like it. You don't like the rare steak? No. I'm not going to lie. I like it almost charred, kind of. There's something wrong. So you like it well. Yeah. So you basically so you like, like a cheeseburger. So, so you like it. No, dead. there's a difference between a well-done steak you like it, and a cheeseburger. You like it like Anakin Skywalker. There is a difference. Well, yeah, because one, it's one's ground it beef and one's steak. Well, yeah. But, like, but I mean, that's like, the difference. Some places get it to the point where it's just like they screw it up and it's basically like chomping into you a like burger. You like it like post-mortem Qui-Gon, yeah. Not chopped in half. <laughs> I'm talking like burnt alive. Not alive, dead, shit. Alive, uh, dead, cremated. You like, I like cremated it nice steak. and crisp. On the but outside. Still, yeah. That's how I like the outside, but I want the inside to be really pink. I really like the inside to also be full. I don't Why? trust pink. I don't trust Why? pink. You know it's safe to eat I know beef it's safe, but that doesn't mean raw, I trust right? it. It's safe to eat beef I raw. Eat beef raw. It, it's not gonna give you salmon vanilla like it like uh, salmon vanilla <laughs> like uh it's like refer to a harmonica chicken. as a cowboy whistle <laughs> salmon vanilla it's not gonna give you salmon it's vanilla it's not gonna give like you a, salmonella academy I'm still not about to do that though. I mean I'm I wouldn't eat a raw steak well there is there's even a I mean a, I wouldn't eat a like a a raw steak you know I wouldn't eat a cow right <laughs> I'm not gonna take a bite out of the side of a cow because right? there isn't nothing better than like a nice but like, juicy tender steak there's a step above like rare steak it's called blue no which is basically raw on the inside that's wrong that's basically like you you char the side the like the the outside you char it and like cook the outside really fast and then like the inside basically untouched that's so what, like it's called using blue. a flamethrower yeah i i, I would it's like able, when I they cook chicken that. with lava have you ever seen those videos on yeah. the internet and yeah. like the inside's raw but the outside's done that's it's basically nice what, cooked. that's basically what a blue steak is I kind of wish I didn't know that. Why? I don't know. I, I would never know. order a blue steak. No. But like, How the hell would you order a blue steak? Some though? people like that. Calling it a blue steak also just sounds like a horrible euphemism. It's like green eggs and ham. That's like... <laughs> Wyatt. What? Are you, did you just make a blue waffles joke? No, not exactly. Okay. But that now that's what's on my mind. <laughs> Thank you very much for that. Hey, it's a breakfast food. Fun fact, you can go no, to Walmart and buy. You can buy waffles that are dyed blue. I hate that. For everyone. <laughs> yeah. Don't look it's up like, that. why did you do it? <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> I almost said do. Don't. If, don't. If you don't know what it is, don't bother. It's not worth it. It's not worth the time. <laughs> Deep in your heart, imagine antifreeze instead. You, so I kind of touched on all the things that I wrote down about breakfast food. Do you guys have anything you guys want to talk about? I haven't written down anything, so... Honestly, I feel like I could talk about cereals for a while, but it would I mostly be cereal. me ranting about which ones I like and which ones I don't. Well, so like, uh, so like, I have a big beef. <laughs> I have a beef. You have a beef. So like, I have a big thing with on versus off brand of cereals. I don't know if you guys have the same thing. Oh, like, it depends on wh- where the better? off the off right. brand is. So like, off brand fruity pebbles are better than fruity pebbles, right? I it, might be the dead same thing with uh, Coca Dynamites. What? Coco Dynamites? I don't know. It's that? the one that comes like, in a big bag. Yeah. Like Fruity Pebbles as well. It's, oh, yeah. They have like the off-brand and the on-brand. But like on-brand and off-brand Captain Crunch are interchangeable to me. See, Captain Crunch, it like the flavor Not of like, Captain the Crunch. berries. Sorry. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oh, yeah. Cinnamon like, Toast off Crunch. Brands, it's really interchangeable. Like off-brand and on-brand Cinnamon Toast Crunch it's are completely it's, it's interchangeable. It's the same line of sawdust and, and crap. And uh, Golden Grabs is very interchangeable. No. No, Golden Grams is not. It, oh yeah, with it's cinnamon not. toast crunch. Oh, are no. you crazy? What? Not, 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 no, not I mean, like off-brand Golden Grams. And oh, like okay. R- actual Golden. Okay, grams. I was about to say like, off-brand what? Golden Grams. No, <laughs> very rarely have I found off-brand Golden Grams that are as good as the actual thing. 
I might okay. be thinking of the uh, wrong thing. But there is some off-brand, like, Frosted Flake type stuff. You'll mm-hmm. get it. It's, like, the right amount of sweetness with the right amount of crispness of the corn flake. So Life cereal can- is not interchangeable. Life cereal? Yeah. What's life cereal? It gives you, you life. Have you ever had life? I don't even know if I like know. Like the game of life? Is this, like, some special K crap You've never seen this? I don't know. I think uh, uh, Kellogg's makes it. Yeah. Kellogg's makes most cereals if we talk, think about it. Is it, it the rooster one? No. No. I don't know. So the Special K is. actually had the cereal. It was like the original Special K. Not like the ones that you'd see now. It's not on in stores anymore. I'm never I don't see it anymore. It was like my main cereal. It's like eighteen dollars a box on Amazon or something crazy because but like that was the best cereal. It never got soggy. No matter like if you left it in your bowl for like an hour, yeah, it gets soggy. I mean, yeah. But like the time it takes to get eat a, like, like a bowl to of cereal get through the bowl. right. So like you know how frosted flakes they basically get soggy as soon as they get in, as soon as they get into uh, <laughs> the bowl, basically. Yeah, I just so showed, like I just showed Wyatt a picture of life cereal. Like, I, oh, yeah, now I remember. That. But like I you know, like, I used to be a big fan of uh, big fan of uh, uh, frosted flakes, oh, and okay. I was like, these suck because oh, five minutes into eating this. That's where the off brand and like the regular brand are so different. But like this special K stuff, you the it was crunchy the entire way through your bowl of cereal. And life makes it was so good. Uh, Quaker makes life. Really? Cereal. Yeah, Quaker. Yeah, after seeing the front of the box, now I remember it. I didn't actually remember the name, I remembered the colors. Yeah. But like so like my like top of the line like cereal, like it's gonna be good every time you eat it for me at least, is cinnamon toast crunch. Like, See, I got tired of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, like, burnt out on it. Okay. That's how I felt on Frosted Flakes. But it was, like, it was the combination of being, like, I've eaten this for the, every day for breakfast for the past five years, and uh, yeah, it was, like, this kind of cereal is kind of garbage because it gets soggy in, like, five seconds. Yeah. And I, I mean, I, was, that... I, I ate mini wheats for a while, and mm-hmm. I was just, like... mini wheats. They, after they get soggy, they, They're awful. Fall, they start to fall apart, and it's just, like... You're, yeah. you're basically eating wheat off the ground yeah <laughs> like, yeah honestly mini wheats is nice to have for like put it in a bag and take it with you not with like no milk yeah because it's a nice dry snack you know you what else is chew on but like cheerios like honey yeah. nut cheerios it's like a good snack thing cheerios but like it's are also like like, one of a, like the all-time cereals but like honey nut cheerios is like fruit loops a great too. cereal to eat, eat with milk too yeah fruit loops apple jacks I don't like apple jacks. Really? You know, but like, I'm not like a big fan of like the cinnamon apple type things. I was gonna say I prefer that over fruity ish cereals. Like Captain like, but Crunch like, grosses me out. What about Lucky Charms? Captain Crunch berries. I love Lucky Charms. So like Captain Crunch berries is like a low, low, low tier cereal. But Captain Crunch normal original with no berries is like top tier yeah, cereal. It, you don't like berries? the flavor of that? I don't just like fine, the berries. But like they they Why? just cut up your roof of your mouth. Oh, I'm sorry. The berries. I don't like the berries. They're disgusting. Man. They're absolutely Why? awful. Well, and see, like I've tasted like, floors better. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far, but like, Jesus. but also like fruity pebbles, not fruity pebbles, fruity uh, fruit loops, fruity fruit loops, fruit loops are like a mid tier cereal cereal for me. Like I don't know why, I just don't like, but like fruity pebble, like I've always, years I've, I've always had found them loops. great, but that might be just because I didn't never had them like growing up. I didn't really have all that much of them growing up. I know we didn't get Fruit Loops that much as we've gotten older because it's just like, or as me and my brother have gotten older. That's because sugar. before we were even born, my dad got sick of them. Okay. Because there was like a Star Wars mail-away figure. Oh. And he ate a bunch of Fruit Loops to get the proof of purchase to get the figure. And he was like, I'm, <coughs> I'm done with this. I'm never eating these again. I'm done with this. It reminds him of like eating too much Fruit Loops. Once <laughs> <laughs> well, he like... I was never a big fan of Cocoa Crisps. As I understand the story, I should say that because he'll listen to this. <laughs> or Cookie or, co- 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 Cookie Crisps. Cookie, crisp. cookie Crisp is Cocoa Puffs. such a misnomer. What about Cocoa Puffs? I, it's like a Cocoa lie. Puffs are good. Reese's Puffs. Cookie Puffs. Reese's Puffs. Yeah, Reese's Puffs. Let's talk about Reese's, Reese's Puffs. Do you guys Puffs. like Reese's, Reese's Puffs? Puffs? I can't eat Reese's eat Puffs. Eat them up, eat them up. I don't really like Reese's Puffs, Puffs because I'm like just like, either. this is just peanut butter cereal. Like I have no idea. I don't even really get any of the... Oh, why it's peanut butter and uh, peanut <laughs> peanut intolerant, guys? Intolerant. Actually, yeah, that's actually a better way to put it than like allergic, because it's more like my body just slightly rejects. He it. misled me for years of our lives. I didn't. You just didn't listen. <laughs> I told you so many times <laughs> since I was five. <laughs> I told you he, he is peanut intolerant. But Reese's Puffs, it's just peanut butter cereal. You don't even get the chocolate. 
Well, and see, like, I'm not a big fan of, like, Reese's Pieces. Like, I'm or, not either because I have a traumatic memory with them. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you found out you're allergic to them? No. Somebody mixed Skittles with Reese's Ew. Pieces. What? It was during map testing in fourth grade. What asshole? The teacher. Because she was just like, oh, I didn't know you were allergic. It's on the record thing. You know, like the attendance, there's the little... Well, and see, now kids... Staff of it's kids or whatever like, bull crap. It's kids like you. It's, it's the reason that kids aren't allowed to bring peanut butter things to school, to hey, elementary school anymore. I can be around <laughs> it, I just can't eat it. And I'd appreciate it if somebody was like, hey, we left some Reese's Pieces and Skittles on your desk. <laughs> Instead of me just being like, oh, I'm not going to look at the colors or check the letters. Cool. Huh? Oh. So it's just like green Skittle, purple Skittle, peanut butter. It's like, <laughs> screw you, people. I'm so glad I'm not. I don't. I'm not allergic to peanuts. God, the only thing I'm really allergic to is a, a penicillin, which is me great. too. I'm also allergic to German shepherds and Siamese and apparently cats. Zion. A little yeah, bit. whatever the heck Zion is. <laughs> Uh, in particular, <laughs> we how do we get on to allergies? Oh yeah, peanuts. Yeah, Reese's puffs. Because I can't eat Reese's puffs. <laughs> eat them up, eat them up, eat them up, eat them up, eat them up. Beat em up, beat em up. What, uh, so, group what about Lucky Charms? A, I love Lucky Charms. Like, I wish, like, I wish the marshmallow. There was a little. I don't want only marshmallows because that's whack, right? You want yeah. that crunch. You, you want it would the get soggy part. real fast too. Right. You want the crunchy part of the cereal, but like, the I feel like the ratio. The ratio isn't perfect. Like I think it could be better. I think it's more of like a seventy-five, twenty-five, or like a just a little bit more marshmallow. Like an eighty-five, fifteen percent ratio, right? Something like that. I think it needs to be like a like a sixty-forty. I'd agree with that. Like I think it'd be way better with a just more a little more marshmallow. You know. While we're on the topic of marshmallowy cereals, okay, I'm gonna come back to Count Chocula. Okay. Because I have some feelings about Count Chocula. Like I said earlier, the formula's changed, but Count Chocula's still, for the most part, pretty all right. Yeah. Which, I can also come to a different topic with that still revolving around cereals. Uh-huh. But have you ever had the other monster cereals? Like Boo Berry? Yeah, Boo Berry, Frankenberry, and for one year they brought back the other two. Which was like Fruit I've, Brute and I don't yummy think I've bummer. ever had Count Chocula. Boo Berry and Frankenberry are absolutely disgusting. Count Chocula, that's like amazing. And it used to be. Well, wasn't he the first we monster cereal? If I'm not mistaken, they all came out at the same time because it was kind of like a thing. They all had instruments. They all were all in a band. Oh, so they were kind of like co- trying to copy McDonald's or something? Chuck well, cheese, no, they yeah. were kind of copying the Groovy Ghoulies at the time. Okay. That was a show. I think it's contemporary. I really don't know. But yeah, Boo Berry is like worse than Frankenberry. It's <laughs> supposed to be like a blueberry flavored cereal, and Frankenberry is supposed to be strawberry. Yeah, strawberry. It like, it has that fake strawberry taste, and it's it's just not good. Mm-hmm. But blueberry, it's like it doesn't taste like a fruit. It tastes like industrial runoff. But just, Count Chocula, they also make cereal bars. Right. I, I Count Chocula cereal bars. Yes. Yeah, some, well, because something you said went, reminded me that we haven't talked about probably one of the most eaten foods in everyone's high school, college, or whatever career. Industrial runoff. No, yes. Pop Tarts. Pop Tarts. Oh, we haven't even talked shit. about Pop Tarts. Pop Tarts. Have you ever put bu- bu- oh, Have you crap. ever put butter on a Pop Tart? Have you ever put butter on a Pop Tart? It's so freaking good. <laughs> it's pretty good, honestly. But, but like, love, love can we army. please get costumes and do that one day? <laughs> we need to. You play we, guitar. We need I to don't make. Know how? Kind don't you have a guitar? Single, I gave it away. <laughs> Why'd you give it away? I gave it to my dad. Acapella. We'll do that. That, that's oh, that's good. You got the uh, wheelchair. I'll my, get the green pants, and we'll work uh, from there. It's not with. It's not Peter and Joe. It's Peter and Quagmire. That's where Connor comes in. But there's three of us, so we need to work with it. <laughs> I guess you you do the Joe voice. That's the best we got. <laughs> okay. And we have a wheelchair for <laughs> you. Have you ever put butter on a pop tart? Well, that's what. Okay. Here's my thought. I thought you still had the guitar, so I was like. Oh, no, you know I how don't. to play guitar, so that solves that problem. We don't need to worry about the guitar. I quit the guitar and moved to harmonica. Why not both? <laughs> I don't know. I was like, I can't do both. I have to focus on one. Um, but Bob Tarts, man, like that. How many times did you just like? It's crucial to the American way. What's your favorite Pop Tart flavor? Ooh, that's a tough one. 
That's that's the question of the, the because question of sometimes the, the flavors change there's, a little. There's like not a the secret. Manufacturing there's changes. not a secret word for this episode. It's a favorite pop tart flavor for the end of this. Oh, episode. that's we're doing a favorite pop tart flavor. Yeah, that's your that's our secret word. It's favorite <laughs> pop. <laughs> I, I kind of have like three S'mores flavors or that I like. Cream. S'mores or cookies using cream are mine. I've see, always I liked like cinnamon, the... chocolate, and s'more. Okay. Well, see, I'm kind of like. Like the OG flavors, like pop, like uh, like pop tart, like uh, strawberry and blueberry, like <laughs> dude, they made. Some I kind of like the OG flavors, you know. They made some DC ones, and for some reason, I swear they tasted more like sweet. They were like Batman cinnamon pop tarts, and they were like somehow sweeter. Huh. I swear. That it is was, weird. It was amazing. But the s'mores one is also pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. That's I think that was like I've eaten the most. Of. I think that was like the the staple one for like. While we were in high school. Okay, so Probably. What, boys, next time you make a pop tart, I want, what I want you to do is I want you to. I think it's like it only works with like chocolate based pop tarts, but burn it in the toaster, then put it in the freezer. What? Yeah, god tier. Burn it, burn it a little bit in the toaster. What does it do? But, yeah, what does the freezer do? It. It just does something. And it makes it. Good. It just does something. It does something. Put it, it on makes a stick. It Where did you figure this out at? My mom taught me. She asked. She had accidentally burnt a uh, pop tart, and or like cooked it too long and made it too hot. So she put it in the freezer to cool off. And then when she got, she forgot about it. And then when she got it out and ate it, she was like, "Oh my god, this is so good." <laughs> this is what? But okay. Trust me. <laughs> okay. Trust me, dude. Hear me out. Okay. One day, I was itching to fill up my belly <laughs> with a pipe and hot jelly of the best damn treat in the world. <laughs> Did you just look up this, their song? Yes. Oh no! The, the, you looked up the family. I the family the lyrics. Song. <laughs> God dang it! God and I saw it. a stick of butter, and it almost made me shudder and scream like a baby girl. <laughs> this is the song. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. I can continue. <laughs> Don't. You don't want me to continue? No. no? I didn't even get to the good part. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. If we say the lyrics with but like truly on the beat. Pop-Tart or Toaster Strudel? Toaster Strudel. I've always preferred Pop-Tart. Me too. Like, I've never... I think my dad or mom, one of them, bought Toaster Strudels once. And I took a bite out of it. I, I always enjoyed toaster strudels, and I was like, "This needs like th- four times the amount of icing <laughs> than what's on than what came in that." I always like toaster strudels. Never strudles. liked the apple toaster strudels. The apple ones, I've always the cherry felt like one, the just, cherry ones were better. Something's missing. Cherry ones were better. I feel like anything like pastry that tries to do apple, it's like I just don't trying like to copy apple pie and like you can't things. beat apple pie. You don't like fruity dessert things. No, like you don't like apple pie. You don't like no. apple turnovers. You don't like apple pie? I like an apple fritter. That's apple... almost worse than me not liking pumpkin pie. Both of those are really gross to Dude, me. Dude, why? You have to like one of them. You don't like pumpkin pie. You either like, like one of them nice or you like both French of them. silk pie. Jesus Christ. You don't like pie? What Most about lemon pies. meringue pie? Or freaking key lemon lime Lemon desserts pie? is its you, own you don't thing like, I can you don't rant like on. Coconut. You don't like lemon desserts? No, they're disgusting. Oh my God. Lemon squares? <laughs> Dude, what the heck? Lemon squares make me queasy. You don't, you, I, don't, you, don't, you don't like lemon wrong. cookies from like Girl Scouts? You don't God, like the, no. Those you are don't the like worst. The lemon those are the worst. <laughs> those are the best. Oh my God. God. They make me no, sick. No, thin, thin mints are the best. Shut I'd up. rather I just, like oh, the yeah, lemonades thin better. Are the best. I, I like the lemonades better than thin mints. L- lemonades are still really good, though. I love the lemonades. They tried to make a key lime version of them, and they just weren't as good. They weren't it. They weren't eat chief. They I was going to say, I've had some good key lime pie. I don't know, dude. It's been forever since I've done that. Though. But pie, apple though. pie, it's like the pieces of apple themselves. Oh, dude, like God. something about it, just like are, 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 are the, all, not... has every apple pie you've ever eaten? Like, was it like it's hand always cut just, apple it's like, pie? It I mean, was it it's, hand cut? It's hand like cut if I apples? imagined eating slugs is what that was like. Oh, so I, if if I that's what slugs, if that's what slugs, slugs taste like, I'm gonna a, eat slugs and a dude. breaded thing. And I was like, oh yes, let me just continue to be a friend. Well, you don't want a crispy apple as your. I would rather pie. have no, that. Dude, that's gross. Nice crisp, bro. little bit burnt. That's, that's how you know that they're under that that the pie is or undercooked, overcooked. No, hear dude. me out. I'd rather have an overcooked. My great apple grandma, pie. bless her soul, she's not dead, but like, <laughs> whatever. But she used to. She Imagine like lost it, her sense of taste, and that's how she used oh, to cook. Wow. That's how she cooked. It was like on, by off taste. Of taste. 
right? That would and suck. She used to make the best apple pie in the world. Honestly, if I could have entered it in contests, it'd probably be number one in the United States of America. It was just so good, but like I don't get it anymore. <laughs> Man, it sucks. I was gonna say apple fritters are pre- are pretty alright. So like, I've had cinnamon right? apple. It was like the cinnamon apple thing, and I don't remember what it was. And it was like apples like sliced into tiny cubes, put we into it like we, a fritter, but different. We didn't even talk about donuts, but we're out of time. Donuts are its own topic. <laughs> donuts are their own topic. That may be my episode next. <laughs> all right, everyone. Thank you all so much uh, for right. joining us for this episode. We are unfortunately out of time, and. Uh, we don't have a secret word. We just have a – the secret word is what's your favorite Pop-Tart flavor for this week uh, – for this week's episode. You have anything to add? That's exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in for this week's episode. Make sure to check us out next week. And if you haven't watched last week's episode, go watch that. Yep. Remember to follow us on Instagram. Give us a subscribe and like here on YouTube. And remember to comment your favorite Pop-Tart flavor like we said. All right, guys. We'll see you. Next week. Goodbye. Bye-bye.